Good morning, Saints. Welcome to Saints at 8. Today is Tuesday, November 29th. We're broadcasting live from our Park of the Week, the Cinque Terre National Park in Italy. As you can see from the map here, the Cinque Terre National Park is located on the west coast of northern Italy. Cinque Terre actually means five lands, and you can see the five villages that are inside of this national park. And now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand up in your classrooms and place your right hand over your heart. Are you ready, Saints? Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Our birthdays for this week are Preston, Evan, Alex, Camden, Mrs. Tuttle, Daniel, Addie, Maxwell, Emmy, Mary, Pippa, Lauren, William, Brian, Ella, and Marley. When you see these birthday celebrities this week, make sure you give them a big happy birthday greeting. The boys' JV basketball team had their first home game this season against visiting opponents, Berkeley Prep. The Buccaneers came out strong and used their size to their advantage, taking an early lead on the Saints in the first two quarters. Our Saints battled hard all four quarters, and it was the persistent shooting from Miles that helped put the Saints on the board as he managed to score all 12 points. Although shooter in height, shorter in height, both Baker and Jack kept the, the much lower Buccaneer players as at the bay as they aggressively fought for defensive rebounds. It was not for a lack of effort, however. The Saints fell short, losing 24-12. to Big thanks to Mr. Schiefling, the JV Boers, honorary faculty member who spread the words of encouragement and helpful tips on the bench to help the Saints stay focused in the game. Great job to all the boys for not giving up and powering through the tough game. Oh, the Saints! girls soccer team played a hard-fought game against St. John's with honorary coach Mrs. Hakes on the sideline for the game. The team was energized but just could not find the equalizer in a back-and-forth exciting game. Estella scored the lone goal in the second half to cut the lead to 2-1, but that ended up being the final score. The team played all, all together very well. Sienna, Caroline, Emmy, Kate, and Grayson were strong in the back with Audrey and Claire splitting the game in the goal. Here's a lineup for after school sports and activities this afternoon. The boys, the, bo the blue boys and gold boys basketball games, our teams host games here against Carroll Day School, and the JV boys and girls gold basketball teams play away at the Carroll Day School today. Come on, cheer on your Saints if you can. And now please bow your head for the morning prayer. Dear God, our world is in darkness. We need the light of peace and love to shine in our world. Help us to prepare our lives and our homes to receive the one who said, I am the light of the world. We pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. That's it for Saints News. It's now time to go over to Mr. Salvo, who is here with some special guests from first grade. Good morning, Mr. Salvo. Morning, Hugh and Evan. Thank you for doing a great job in the anchor booth today. Um, we are here with some more first grade friends. We got Xander, Jojo, and Daphne, and we're going to uh, have, a, I think, a combination of jokes, facts, and even, well, just some jokes, facts, and personal information here, too. But I wanted to ask you all, um, today, World Cup Soccer, what's your prediction? Will the U.S. win? Xander, do you think the U.S. is going to win today? Uh, I think so. You think so? You think so? Daphne, you think so, too? Yeah, I hope so, too. It's starting at 1 o'clock, so hopefully we'll hear, uh, maybe get to see some glimpses of the game and the TVs behind us. I actually have a TV in my office. Cool. So if you guys are free, come by, all right? You can watch some soccer. Uh, we are here. We're going to go through some uh, facts and jokes. Xander, you're going to go first. You've got two, a joke and a fact? Okay, which one do you want to tell first? A fact. All right, let's hear the fact. Do you know there's more than 1,000 seeds? in a sunflower. It's more than a thousand seeds in a sunflower. Huh. I did not know that. I wonder if those uh, seeds, I, I'm trying to think of sunflowers, like uh, I, I, I used to eat daisies and stuff. Have you ever fried daisies? You're stealing his thunder. You're going next. You're going next. A thousand seeds in a sunflower. And what is your joke? Why was the cow on the road? Why was the cow on the road? I don't know. 
Because it wants to move away. It wanted to move <laughs> away. We probably can't can't get away from those cow jokes. They are instant classics. All right, Jojo. What do you call a pile of cats? What do you call a pile of cats? I don't know. A mountain. A mountain. A mountain. A mountain. Yes. Good job. I have not heard that one before. Good stuff. Is your fact that is that your fact? Mm -hmm. On the cat beat. So, so we got some close ups. I don't know if we can you gotta hold them steady and the direct right direction so the camera can zoom in on both. Tell us about your cat. She sleeps She's most of the day. Sometimes yeah. she plays. Is she friendly or is she kind of Sometimes she's if I came over, would she want to be on my lap, or would she stay away from me? Sometimes she'll scratch a lot. Yeah. But she doesn't do really much. What's her, and what's her name? Opal. Opal. Okay. She looks very precious, very sweet. You look happy holding her, so that's it's great to have a family pet. All right, Daphne. What you got? Did Did you know that the first boys' World Cup was in 1930? First. World Cup, 1930. For the boys. For the men. For the men's. Okay. Okay. That's a very interesting fact. And then the women's, they have now have a separate women's cup, World Cup, but um, obviously right now we're in the midst of the men's World Cup. The so. first girls' World Cup was in 1991. 1991 was the first women's World Cup. So it's, a little, it's but it's catching up, and now they rotate, so there's probably one every couple of years, right? And do you, is that that's all you got today? They won four times. The U.S. The women's girls. team. Yeah. Has the men's team ever won? No. I don't think they have ever won. So, interesting. Well, hopefully this is their year, or it's your it's your team's year. Let's like Rudy. World Cup is a lot of fun too. It's great to see different jerseys on campus today. Let's be um, respectful and mindful. Like this is one of the beauties. Like we have family members, we have friends who uh, come from all over the world. So. Uh, we're going to be good sports and cheer each other on. Obviously, I've got some, we've got some home rooting interest sometimes in the USA, but we are rooting for countries. We're rooting for good competition and great games. That's what we're hoping for first and foremost. All right. You guys ready to send everyone off to a fantastic day at St. Yeah. Mary's? You're going to come by my office at 1 o'clock, watch the game? Yeah. yeah. All right. We've got some chicken wings now. Oh, can I do the karate yeah. kick again? The karate kick? What is that? I do it with the sushi one. Here on the morning show? Yeah. All right. You can all do karate kicks if you want to do, like, like your microphone's going to do the karate ki uh, kick from the seat because your microphone's going to come flying uh, off. Okay, and then I'll just do the ghost dance. Just going to do the ghost dance. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, go Saints! Go. You can karate kick right now. Yeah.